good afternoon, my darlings. How's everyone doing today? Everyone ready for an HPH? I'm so ready, Jay. I can't wait. And to all the people watching, go ahead and subscribe to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Habibi Bros. Right down here. And the link's below. You know what, Jay? You're looking a little too white. You know what? Don Gardner should, damn it, you're right. <laughs> There we go. Marhaba wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, habibis. Kifna, inshallah bakhir. Hey, Yabina, ila, ila HPH. Yalla, habibis. Whether the decision uh, to go was tongue to death, look, it, it was obviously a mistake, and in hindsight, I, I wouldn't have done it. The issue was employees, workers in the nursing homes who didn't realize they were bringing COVID-19 into the nursing homes. It's not me, it's not you. It's okay. Is that okay to tell that joke? I'm not sure. <laughs> we already told it, so I don't, I don't oh know. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, Habibis. I'm Siraj Hashmi. I'm Jacoby. And we're the Habibi Bros. Welcome to another episode of Habibi Power Hour Premium. So, what's going on, Jay? Happy Sunday. Happy weekend. Uh, yes, how, how you doing? I am doing fantastic. As uh, you know, yesterday, alhamdulillah. Went went over house hunting and stuff. So hopefully you got a nice little basement to come stay at, and we can do all our jihading. Live Congratulations, Habibi! That's fucking awesome. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, sir. It's a, it's a big deal, especially in the middle of a pandemic. Right. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But you know, <laughs> Jay, um, you gotta you gotta be mindful though, because as soon as you buy a house. You're well on your way to becoming a billionaire, and uh, I'm worried that um, you're going to end up drinking literal ass water. And uh, I mean, yeah. I, 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 I drink it while I snack on uh, Puzzy's mom's ass already. <laughs> so, so that that I, already happens. I, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, why didn't you tell me Bill Gates was so cut? <laughs> it's the ass water, baby. Yo, that's, that, that's that's what that that's what that Bill Gates Windows Vista will do to you. Oh yes, sir. I mean, you drink that ass water, eat that ass yeah, diet, yeah. and you work out. I mean, so you're gonna get shredded. I mean, for those who aren't really understanding what we're talking about, I mean, this tweet right here. Bill Gates posted this in August of 2015. Tweeting out, I drank water made from human feces. Here's an update on the machine that produced that water. I mean, <laughs> Jesus, Jay. Uh, this is the same guy. Like, I'm not even making this up. This is a real ass tweet about uh, real ass water. Real ass water in a real ass tweet. I mean, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> it's so amazing because also. The way he wrote it and stuff as well. I drank water made from human feces. <laughs> Here's yeah. an update on the machine that produced it. It's not, it's, it's why tweet it that way. Just say, look, I, I am drinking water made from the shit coming out of your mom's ass. <laughs> Here's how I do it. I mean, what's so here's how I do it I use a straw, <laughs> <laughs> particularly a twisty straw. Uh, you know, what's so great about this is that, like, you know, I'm waiting for a, a Bill Gates posting L's Twitter account because this is the biggest <laughs> L I think I've ever seen. Drinking literal, literal shit. <laughs> it is. And the reason we bring this up is because uh, Bill Gates, uh, he did an interview with MIT Technology Review and you could see the headline is that rich nations should shift entirely to synthetic beef. Which, you know, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense when uh, the man is literally drinking uh, used up beef that went 
through uh, Fuzzy's mom's ass. <laughs> right. And honestly, that's ex that's expensive water. Like, yeah. To, not, not every rich nation is going to be able to pay for Fuzzy's Fuzzy's mom's feces to be turned into water. Exactly. For us all it, it, to all enjoy. I mean, and, I'm I'm kind of scared because like this, we're getting into territory where uh, we're talking about literal human centipede type of shit. That like we are. Yeah, I mean, first it's drinking ass water. Next thing you know, it's you know eating ass food. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. I mean, they already <laughs> they want you to drink. They want you to drink uh, cockroach milk. Yeah, Cock fucking cockroach milk. I mean, it's ridiculous considering the fact that like J U E S, they want you to take it the next step and eat basically everything that comes out of the ass which is uh bill gates this is this is the future liberals want right the, i mean my culture is not your goddamn fucking drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> um but anyways this whole interview that bill gates did is to promote his new book called how to avoid a climate disaster and what's just so interesting is you know you have you know you have on the one hand, you have doomsday preppers who maybe rightly, maybe they do it out of you know proper concern, considering the right. disaster we saw in Texas with the blizzard. Yeah. And people kind of you know realizing that you know resources are finite and and you know you want to be you know put yourself in the best position that things uh, should obviously the shit go down, uh, no pun intended that <laughs> you literally have uh, a plan B uh, and that B does not stand for butt. But uh, when it comes to sort of like the, the liberal take on being a doomsday prepper, they are shifting all of our technology into a way that makes it so that it's no longer going to be like we're drinking human feces, while well, they're made from human feces, we're going to be like drinking soil and green and basically making people expendable to avoid a climate crisis. Like everything is about protecting the planet and climate crisis while making all of our lives worse. And, and a lot more miserable. And the yeah. funny thing is about these doomsday uh, predictions is that they've come and gone and it's only solidified them in talking about there's a new – there's a new date that we're going to hit and we're all going to die. This yeah. makes them no different than than uh, like a doomsday cult, honestly, yeah. that just keeps on moving that date as it goes on. And they they justify to themselves why they keep on moving that date and how they keep on pushing that date. Yeah. We're supposed to all be dead and underwater in 2014. Right. That's what I remember that. I remember the uh, like uh, the whole the whole uh, presidential campaigns between al gore and and bush he he was going hard that we were all going to die if we don't do something by 2014 new york is going to be underwater blah 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 all of these things that came into play and he got billions of dollars out of it he made a whole shit ton of money of this doomsday um you know crying prediction that that was going to be uh, come and pass that we we're all going to die we had to change everything to to be more green mm -hmm. and 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 nothing really even came close to it. Now, this is not to deny that you know things are happening, climate change is going on, you know, the earth is is warming, all of these things are happening, but it does come into question the way that they want to do it in order to control every aspect of your life. Yeah. Make you com uh uh compliant in in what they want to be doing and then also ruining a lot of businesses, a lot of people's jobs and a lot of people's livelihoods over it too. Yeah, it's it's a, it's insane considering that yeah, like it, basically everyone who is sort of pushing back on this idea that um, you know they they whatever solutions they propose, whether it be the Green New Deal, whether it be uh, you know drinking human feces uh, to conserve water, um, it's all about you know people saying. And I would say people right of center, conservatives, what have you, saying, no, your ideas are batshit insane. And then them being labeled automatically anti-science without even considering that maybe they actually agree that climate change is happening. 
they just don't agree with your philosophy that this is the way that we should address it. And getting back into the you know Paris Climate Accord, which President Biden did uh, within the last week, um, you know these are things that like we're dumping millions and billions of dollars into things that make that don't make a significant difference and only actually they don't make a significant difference in actually halting climate change. Rather, they make a significant difference in people's pockets, uh, their wallets and pocketbooks, um, and you know, restricting their freedoms and just making, as, as we said before, making their lives worse. I mean, Sonny Bunch, he wrote an article for the Washington Post um, and he's, he's, to, he's a film critic and he actually mm -hmm. wrote an article that's like evergreen. It's, it goes along the lines of the headline that environmental, environmentalists make perfect movie villains because they want to make your real lives worse. And like time and time again, environmentalists prove how much they want to make everybody's lives worse. And they and like they just they are not like sympathetic figures at all. It's not like, you know, they're they're always telling us the sky is falling. They're, ch they're chicken littles. They're a bunch of fucking chicken littles telling us the sky is falling. And every day the sky hasn't fallen. Sure. We may have seen like, uh, you know, disasters, uh, natural disasters that were unprecedented, whether you see the Texas blizzard, whether you've seen like uh, hurricanes, things that happen periodically that basically give justification that climate change is real. Um, but by and large, those aren't going to go away with us like dumping millions and billions of dollars into like a global, you know, climate pact with the Paris Climate Accord or you know, us drinking human feces as water. It's just the shit that it doesn't make milk. sense. Yeah, or cockroach milk. Like the shit doesn't make any sense. No, and they're all hypocrites about it too. I mean, you see, uh, France is, isn't is meeting the Paris Accord. They're retreating from it. They're not able to meet the, <laughs> to the meet demands. it themselves, the demands of the Paris Accord themselves. And you have people like uh, John Kerry who wants to say that, you need to even turn off your air conditioners because they, they cause too much of a footprint flying on his private jets anywhere and everywhere he has to go. Anywhere yeah. and everywhere. They will not make the sacrifices they're demanding of you to make while they're living their life as, you know, with everything, with the air conditioner on yeah. as long as they want, flying on private jets, Fuck and making but, sure yeah. you're sweating your balls off. J John Kerry, the special env envoy on like climate issues, it still flies on the fucking private jet. It doesn't when, make when sense. You're, when it's, you're me, you you have to. Yeah. <laughs> when you're me, you have to. <laughs> fucking, fucking garbage. Just bullshit. And Habibis, to catch the, the full episode, please check us out over at patreon.com forward slash Habibi Bros. Aloha. <laughs>